I had a dream on Sunday that I was being chased by wolves. I know I was raised by them but this dream was haunting. Usually in dreams where I'm being chased my stumpy legs outrun them or I wake up before I'm devoured by them. But this time I was caught by them and they clawed at my. Why are you wearing a suit? What? I said, cheek wipe. Why are you wearing a suit? Kevin, I've told you. Alright, listen to me for once. I am now a salesman. Right, I'm a working man. And I'm, I'm the one paint. Oh fuck, the light isn't. Kevin, you're in charge of the lighting. Kevin, I'm a salesman now, and I have to promote everything to the viewers. Alright? There's a link <laughs> in the description for a website called Patreon. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Hi, I'm Gary Knott. Are you looking for great brands but hate the prices? Well, I'm here to tell you all about the place that does just that. Tweet, tweet, please help me. My nest was destroyed and I lost my wife and four chicks I'm working on minimum wage and I'm addicted to bird feed. If you can, please save me. That's right. Today, we're looking at an advert from Dirt Cheap. Hi, I'm Fred from Dirt Cheap. Whoa! Hello there, Fred. You look like someone I can trust. The font, the quality of the video really tells me you're a man of class, status, and caliber. One small issue. I can't look out why you chose a font that makes your business look like you have a dodgy room around the back that sells either meth or expensive feather dusters. But that, Fred, that, my boy, is easily sold. Because if you had that extra income, you would have spent it on a HD camera. No side business. Please, Mr. Fred of Dirt Cheap, continue. Fred from Dirt Cheap. What better gift for any occasion than a package? What better gift than booze for any occasion? You're damn right there, Fred. Going to a shitty party, down a bottle of rum, going to the birth of your first child, finish off a can of good old Red Stripe. I don't know if you guys know what Red Stripe is, I think it's a lager. Off to see your father get cremated, hallucinate on absinthe. It'll make, it'll make it a better experience for all. What better gift for any occasion than a package from Dirt Cheap? Cheap, cheap, fun, fun! <laughs> Yeah, I get it, Fred. Fred, you're a clever f bastard. Dirt cheap, dirt, abs absolutely no bloody correlation with bird chip, but cheap. See, birds make chirping or cheeping noises, and that's a call to his cheap, cheap, fun, fun, fun prices slogan. Now that right there is fucking Rick, Rick and Morty 200 IQ shit right there, all right? I can't think of that, because I don't watch Rick and Morty. I do. I'm a cl I'm clever. Cheap, cheap, fun, fun! Yes, it's cheap, but most of all it's fun. The recipient will love it. Listen here, people. Fred has told me. Booze is fun. Um, but you should always... You should always drink responsibly. Um, alcohol can be damaging, as Kevin knows, don't you, Kevin? I can't drink, moron. Yep, that's true. But he's not wrong. Fred has also given me future present ideas. Booze. Fred has guaranteed that the recipient will love it. They will. <laughs> they will love it. But, but, but Fred, you haven't really thought this through, have you? Have you? You haven't really done the maths, the, the logic. Well, Allow me to allow fucking get out of the way. Allow me to explain it to you. After lots of time and consideration, I've spoken with the scientists and they've done the maths. Fred's guarantee is wrong. The recipient could very well love a bottle of booze, Fred, if they haven't 
just been back to see their family after being let out of alcohol rehabilitation. Didn't, didn't fucking think this through, did you, Fred, huh? What about that? Perfect gift for everyone, you said. Guaranteed. Guaranteed, you said to me, Fred. And what's this? Now I've called up everybody I know, done the maths that you failed to do, and look where we are. We're talking over a camera about your fucking business. In the famous words of Sir Alan Sugar, you're fired. Of all, it's fun. The recipient will love it. And best of all, the more she drinks, the better you look. Oh. Fuck me. No, f fuck me, Fred. Have you been working out? Sadly, it's just not how it works, is it? The more they drink, the better you look. There's something quite depressing about that, isn't there? Really, there is something quite depressing about that. The more <laughs> I'm so self self confident, self <laughs> I have l such a lack of confidence that I have to drink away everything. I have to make the person I want to talk to drunk before I can be like, "Hey, Sandra, you wanna you wanna, wanna hook up?" And by then. By then, they have lost all kinds of things. They're, they're slurring their words, that they can't make eye contact with you, you can't make eye contact with them because their eyes are all over the place. Whoa. They're fucking drunk off their fucking noggin. And you're trying to work your smooth moves, you know, with your, with your, with your, with your juice and your, your chin, and you're like, eh. And you're, and you're like, hey. And you're like, hey, you want, some, you want some rum? And they're like, oh, hell yeah. Ain't nobody don't want rum. And you're like, listen. Listen, babe. I've got an idea, all right? Listen, I've got, I've got, stop, stop, stop slurring your words at me. All right, focus on me. And as you're trying to work, you're, you're thinking about what moves you can make and you're trying to do all these smooth moves, but yet they've just thrown up on your new suit, your, tre your treasured new suit that you spent a week's wages on, your kid at home, all right, is, is alone with a babysitter and she's cold. That kid is cold because you spent a week's wage on a brand new suit to try and win over this your, your, your ex-wife's best friend, all right? And then suddenly she's thrown up all over your new suit. She's pissed on your best friend's white leather sofa at this fucking American barbecue you've gone to. And you know what, Fred? That is, that's bad times for you, all right? Now, Fred, let's talk about your new bod bod. I need to know your secrets. I think you've been reading too many men's health magazines, right? I think you've been looking at their diets and putting them all into one smoothie to make your body this mighty machine that it is, right? I need to know your secrets. Tell me, Fred, what's your fucking secret? You know what? He's got a wand. But guess what? I'm gonna try that. Instead of a wand, I've got... I've got, I've got a clean fork. Is that a wand? Is that wand enough? Got a wand. All right, let's see if this works. Yeah, Fred. Huh? Now I know your secrets. Huh? I know your cheap, cheap secrets, bitch. You luck. I don't know about you, but I need all the help I can get. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know, Fred. Uh, the lady beside you that you're trying to impress, um, who's gonna throw up on your new suit, except you're in your trunks. Um, and is gonna piss on your white sofa. She didn't drink anything, man. She, she didn't drink anything. Which means, which, which means, Fred, shut up, exhaust. Which means, Fred, to, to her, this, this lady you're trying to have a relationship with, you to her already look like this muscular man. You don't need to change yourself, man. Be yourself around her, man, all right? You don't need to change yourself. You're, you're a perfectly good human being, okay? You've come up with this great marketing idea, all right? Just, just tell her how you feel. You don't need to be a muscular Chris Hemsworth to win over all the ladies. It certainly helps by all means, but just sit down, be honest with her. Tell her how you feel. You shouldn't need booze to feel this way. And you know, even, even if she, if she needs booze to see you in that manner, she's not worth your time, man. But either way, if you both get drunk and something happens, that's a fun, fun, cheap, cheap way to hit it off. All the help I can get. Please come visit us. We are grateful for your business. Thanks. Be careful out there. 
Enjoy the journey. Fred. No. Fred, you sound so desperate. Please come visit us. You need to perk up, all right? Um, think of me as your sales assistant, all right? I'll teach you all the ways of the business, all right? Look, I, I, I dropped on the floor, didn't I? In all seriousness, down to earth, Will, here now, all right? Sales assistant, sales marketing man, assistant CEO of general marketing assistant, universal indicator of help CEO, Will, here, telling you, you need to pick up this monotone badly dressed, not badly dressed, but like, you know, tidy up, just mostly your tone, because you couldn't, right now you couldn't, you couldn't sell me a poly pocket pencil case if you wanted to, alright, seriously, it's awful, even, even if I wanted one, alright, which I don't, by the way, you couldn't sell me one, and that's, that's mildly depressing, especially for poly pocket, Barbie, don't even go there, but poly pocket, there's a big chance that I want one of those, I don't, but I was saying if I was there, also, apparently the new and improved Fred isn't actually there. Or, or he's a vampire, because there's no fucking reflection. Who, who is this Fred? Fred, be honest with me, be real with me for a second, alright? Who is this lady in red? She f phases through Fred and overacts constantly. Throughout your little advert, okay? Is she still attracted to Fred in this shop? Or is she just laughing at the bird? Whatever she's doing, Fred, my, my advice to you as your business sales assistant, CEO, general helper of Universal Indicator Management, CEO man, <coughs> is to fire her. And that's from, from a professional, professional, pro, professional, you know, outcome. She's not worth it. Cut her off. Slice the wire. <laughs> and there, ladies and gentlemen, we have it. We have everything we need on dirt cheap. Uh, that was the advert. Uh, there is a second advert if you would like me to analyze, overanalyze, and critique Fred's second advert. Then, by all means, leave a like, leave a comment, um, and check out the previous videos that I dropped. They'll be at the end, two of them at least. Um, and if you're new here, remember to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Kevin, do you have any anything else to say? Pizza time. You never have anything good to say. That's the truth. Goodbye. Savoy. I can hear them coming to me.